Today we'll be taking a look at how WooSearch makes finding WooCommerce products quicker and easier than ever. With a deep focus on design and form, it's been developed to reduce the amount of time users spend searching for products, improving the customer shopping experience. Let's take a look now at what makes WooSearch right for your e-commerce website. We've set up this dummy um, website with a range of products for testing purposes and you're more than welcome to come and try this yourself at woosearch.cancode.com and one of the first things you'll notice when searching for a product is just how fast the results populate. So if we search for iPhone you'll see that instantly we were presented with um, the list of products for that search phrase and hopefully you'll agree with us that the design is really modern um, it's independent from a theme in a sense that it's in a pop-up but obviously we give you styling options on the back end um, as well as other functionality which we'll run through shortly so some of the things to note regarding the design we have the brand logos in the top left uh, you can turn these on and off in the back end settings and that uses the official WooCommerce brands plugin so if you're using that plugin and you, you have logos uploaded, you're able to present them in the search results. Likewise, we have this tab for, um, currently we're using it for free delivery. So on the back end in the settings, if we go to WooCommerce and search and filters, and you'll see we've, we've got a, a bunch of different settings. And in the design settings, we have a delivery promotion text, which is what we're displaying on the front end with the free delivery. And how that works is if we set a price, any product that is above that price will then display that label. So you're able to show that promotion to your customers. We also have a stock status, which supports in stock, out of stock and on back order and again all, all these functions can be turned on and off in the in the settings on the back end we obviously display the image from the product as well as the title and then we display a sale price um, and a regular price so if you do have products that are on sale one of the great things about this plugin is that we'll automatically calculate the saving and, and display that um, for you the placeholder underneath where it says offer end soon, you are able to change on the back end. Um, as I said, we, we have a range of, of settings um, to customize. Um, you're able to search by title, skew and description. You can toggle all these options on and off. And one of the really cool things is you can also search by custom fields. So for the purpose of the demo, we've set up two custom fields, network and display and under display we have created one um, a custom field um, with the term OLED so you can see how it's populated those products so if you're running a WooCommerce store and you're using custom fields it is fantastic for you to, to be able to let your customers search by those attributes on the left hand side we, we have our filters um, you're able to choose what filters you would like to be included, whether that's all of them, some of them, or if you want none of them, you can turn this into a, a full page search. Um, what else have we, have we got to show you? So on the back end, let's go through some of these settings. So we can override the WooCommerce search. It's the simplest way to get this plugin set up, but we also have a short code that you can use as well. The suggestion characters is after how many characters we're going to get this pop up to appear with the products. So you're able to change that. Likewise, you can change how many products there are per page. So we currently have it at eight. You're able to adjust that to your liking. Um, if for whatever reason you need to exclude products or categories, you're able to do so. Um, likewise, if you want to exclude products that are out of stock, you can do that as well. The search for product placeholder, you're able to change. And the filters, as we mentioned before, you can turn on and off. In the design settings, you're able to change all the colors to match your themes branding. And in the content settings, uh, we've got some more options here. So display product stock status, you don't have to have that on, but if you want to, you can. Um, same with the delivery promotion. 
after the price we're currently showing that it's excluding tax um, so you're able to change this text to have this piece of text display after the price and then we have that sell banner with the offer end soon underneath and lastly in brand settings we've got our display product brand logo um, as i said you do need to use the uh, official WooCommerce brands plugin for that to work. However, we will be adding in functionality um, or support, sorry, for for future um, plugins that that use that kind of function. And then in advanced settings, you can rebuild your cache um, and you can change your cache size. We actually recommend that, that you leave the cache size alone um, unless you have a, a store with over 100,000 products. Um, the cache you, you won't actually need to rebuild we automatically rebuild this every time you update a product or add a new product um, but if for whatever reason you do need to rebuild the cache you have that option and lastly you you have a, an option for adding in your own custom CSS um, we hope that this overview has shown you uh, enough information but if you have any questions we do have a live chat system on our website on wusearch.cancode.com or on the main site itself cancode.com um, and we look forward to speaking to you soon